Hello, this is the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Thank you so much for tuning into this video in which we will look at ratios. So ratios in maths compare two quantities of the same type. When we say the same type, we mean the two quantities have the same units. So we write ratios like this. We have a number and another number with a colon in between. You pronounce that as two. So for example, if you see something like this, it's three to four. So ratios can have more than two numbers in them. For example, this is four to six to seven. These are valid ratios. And we think of each of these numbers as a number of parts. So let's illustrate this with an example. So let's say I make a drink with 200 mils of cordial and 600 mils of water. So what is the ratio of water to cordial? So, because water is listed first, in my answer, the number associated with water needs to go first. So, it's 600 mils water to 200 mils of cordial. If I want the cordial to water ratio, because cordial is written first, then it would be the opposite, 200 to 600. So, if cordial is written first, then its number goes first in the ratio. But you know what? We really don't need the these units because they're the same. So instead, we could just write water to cordial as 600 to 200, and we could write cordial to water as 200 to 600. Now, ratios are just fractions, which we've been working with in the last few lessons. So how does this mean we have a fraction? So there is 200 plus 600, 800 mils of water in total. So water is 600 of the 800 mils and cordial is 200 of the 800 mils. But wait a minute, wait a minute. 600 and 800, that's not a simplified fraction. I can't be a hypocrite, can I? Because I always tell you, if you write a fraction, your answer must be simplified. So I can simplify this really easily. I can divide by 100, and I'm left with 6 over 8. 6 over 8 simplifies to 3 over 4. 3 quarters of this drink is water, and similarly, 200 over 800 is one quarter. So this is a drink with three quarters water and one quarter cordial. Just as you can simplify fractions, so too you can simplify ratios. It turns out the water to cordial ratio, well, 600 and 200, I can divide each of these by 200 because 200 is the highest number that goes into both numbers in the ratio. So 600 divided by 200 is 3, 200 divided by 200 is 1. The ratio of water to cordial is 3 to 1. The ratio of cordial to water is 1 to 3. So as I said before, we're going to think of each of these numbers as part. It's like the drink has been divided into 3 plus 1, 4 parts. Three of those parts water, one part is cordial. So if this is the drink down the bottom, these three parts all represent water and the other part represents cordial. They're supposed to be equal. Each of these is 200 mils. So a total of 600 mils of water and 200 mils of cordial. So that's what ratios are. They're just dividing things into parts. They're really just fractions, another way to write fractions. So let's look at simplifying ratios some more. So I said before that ratios are really just fractions in disguise. So we simplify ratios exactly the same way we simplify fractions. Remember to simplify a fraction, we just divide the top and bottom number by their highest common factor. And so we will do for ratios. We'll just take each number in the ratio and divide by the highest common factor. So the highest number that goes into 15 and 25 is five. So 15 divided by five is three, 25 divided by five is five. 32 to 56. So the highest number that goes into both of these is eight. So we divide 32 by eight and we divide 56 by 8. So our answer should have numbers with no common factor. So 4 and 7 have no common factor other than 1, so we know we've done something right. So we can also simplify ratios that have more than two numbers. 
So here we need to divide each number by their highest common factor. So we find the highest number that goes into 10, 8, and 18, which is actually 2. So 10 divided by 2, 8 divided by 2, and 18 divided by 2. Once again, the numbers in my answer have no common factors other than 1. So how do you simplify a ratio when there's a fraction involved? Well, just like for fractions, they're not simplified unless both numbers are whole numbers. So how am I going to make this a whole number? That's easy. All you do is multiply by the denominator. So if I take three quarters and I multiply by four, which is four over one, the fours cancel out and I'm just left with three. Three quarters times four is three. But if I times this number by four, I have to times the other number by four. So five times four is 20. Three quarters to five is the same as three to 20. So note, I didn't times top and bottom of the number by four because I wanted to change the number. I didn't want to find an equivalent fraction because that would mean I'm not actually changing this number. I wanted to change this into a whole number. So I just times the whole thing by four not top and bottom by four. So how do I do this one here? Well, very similarly, I wanna make this into a whole number, so I'm gonna times each side by four. One quarter times four is one, two over five times four is eight over five. Remember when you times a fraction by a whole number, write it over one, so you just go two times four is eight, five times one is five. So this still isn't simplified because I have a fraction here. So how do I get rid of this denominator? How do I make this into a whole number? Well, I times by five. I times by its denominator. So if I times the right number by five, I have to times the number on the left by five. So one times five is five. Eight over five times five over one. Once again, fives cancel out. I'm just left with eight over one, which is eight. So a quarter to two-fifths is the same as five to eight. All right, thank you so much for tuning into this video. This has been the luckiest maths teacher in the world. Have a great day.